Hey guys, so I got some CSF goodies, uh, a radiator and an oil cooler for the E46. Um, not gonna put these in today because there's still other stuff that I wanna do to the car first. Um, but you guys can look. Um, I did also get a radiator for the E36, so put that in today. Um, the one in there's couple seasons old, so figured it'd be good to replace it and make sure everything stays nice and cool this year. So, I got the old radiator out. It's kind of filled with gum. A lot of this is just from debris flying into the radiator. A lot of bent fins. Tire gunk, dirt, rocks. A lot of bugs. There's a dead bee right here. It's kind of gross. This thing has gone through a lot. CSF radiator on the left and the old Mishimoto that came out on the right. You can tell the, the CSF is already a little bit wider. The CSF radiator measures in at two inches wide. Uh, the Mishimoto was about an inch and a half, so that's a pretty big difference in cooling capacity. The CSF is pretty shiny as it's brand new. You can see the design differences here. One of the things I really like about the new radiator is that you have the option of using a flathead screwdriver to open the drain plug in addition to either getting a wrench or a socket up there. So with that, let's get the fan back in. Uh, I like the electric fan because if there's any full course cautions or if uh, you're just waiting in grid, I'm, uh, I like to have it running just in case. All right, so now we have the radiator with the fan attached. Now to put it all back together. All right, so new radiators in there, cooling systems all bled, no more air, so should be good to go and uh, keep things nice and cool this season. Thanks for watching, guys.